I am sure a lot of you are probably familiar with the Wayback Machine and Archive.org. I've mentioned Archive.org in uh, previous videos about just archiving stuff. <laughs> um, and not only can you archive, you know, things like photos and and videos and pretty much any other type of file. Uh, you can also archive websites there. Well, they archive sites automatically. They crawl the internet every once in a while. And you can do something like filmsbychris.com and search the uh, browser history there. And give it a second here. It gives you a little date chart of dates that it archived the website. So I can go back, and this is pretty neat. I wish that there were more archives in here of my website. Uh, but I can go back to like 2004 and find a date where they archived my site so the earliest back it looks like 2004, March 24th, they took a snapshot of my website, which looked like this, minus this bar up top here. Um, so this is what my website looked like back then. Pretty horrible, a little bit of flash right there. Uh, and it was mainly, that's back when I mainly did wedding videos, and so it was, you know, promoting my wedding video work. Uh, and uh, yeah, in 2005, they took one snapshot. And so if I can click there on January or February 1st, there's not much here. It has the counter from that day, and then the rest of the site was completely flash at the time. I know, I know. It, it was it was 2005, did I just say? Uh, so it was um, just at the time where I just started probably switching to Linux, uh, and and but at the time it's like everybody used Flash, and it just seemed like a cool thing to do. Uh, so obviously that one didn't archive too well, but I can go like to 2009, which is probably when I first started doing videos for you guys on YouTube. So we can go here to November 14th and see what my page looked like at the time then. And this is what it looked like here. Um, it's not the fastest loading up these archives, but there we go. So my page now, not every link is going to necessarily work, you know, because it depends on whether they archived all the links, uh, if the remote links especially, you know, to... YouTube stuff or whatever. Um, so a lot of you probably already know that, but it's, it's fun, especially if you have a website, to go back and see all the different variations you had. Uh, or maybe there's just a site that you used to like to go to that isn't up anymore. They might have it archived here. But again, like, look, there's a very wide gap here where they didn't archive my site. Uh, and, you know, it's sporadic. But let's say you make some changes to your website and you want to make sure that they get archived for future reference. You can also put in your site here. So I can go filmsbychris.com and I can click save page and it will, I can go with the latest, show all. Um, oh, we could if I type the whole the filmsbychris.com. There we go. Save page. And we'll start archiving the page as it currently is. Uh, and then you can get a link to it. And that way you can you can save that link. And you know, hopefully archive.org is around for a long time. They are a nonprofit, they, they do fundraising each year. You can see a donate button right there. But their goal is to archive websites. And it'd be great in 10 years from now, or 15 years from now, or 20 years from now. My website's changed a lot, and I want to feel nostalgic and go back and see what my page looked like. I can go back here, I can search, and I can see what it looked like today uh, from what they archived. You know, again, if you have a lot of uh, links going off site, you know, there's certain things that they can't archive, but for the general purpose, you can see right here, this is what will look like if, if archive.org is still around in 20 years, uh, I should be able to go back and look at my page like this, and hopefully they are. There are other services out there like that, and it doesn't hurt to also, you know, back up and archive your own websites locally, um, but it's nice to have these online backups that you can quickly go to, you know, just for the nostalgia, if, if nothing else. So go ahead, check that out, uh, you know, web.archive.org, or you can just type in the Wayback Machine in Google and you should be able to find it. And, you know, go and search for some websites you haven't seen in years uh, and think about, you know, type it in your address if you've made some changes since our last archive and make sure they get your page archived uh, with those changes. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.